Welcome back to Business Night. We're having a discussion about the Voitis Transport with uh, ABSCBNews.com business editor Lala Rimando. Before the break, Lala, we were saying that Voitis had actually recovered quite well from last year because lower fuel prices have had led to a significant increase in their bottom line, almost half a billion pesos in the first half. This uh, disaster happened. They've handled it properly. They've done a good job of communicating with, with the passengers and taking care of them. And so they're not suffering the usual public brickbats that... Uh, that uh, Asul Pichar did last time around. Um, but you've got to take a look at the bottom line. And um, as you said, it makes sense for them now to keep it, although they did try to sell it last year. Um, this suspension, you don't know how long it's going to last. It could be a month, it could be two months. Uh, probably not. But, but should you expect this to, to, give, to, uh, to hit them on the bottom line? Definitely. If you're in the great business and you can move your goods, you can service your clients, that's going to hit you. Mm. But is it going to be something that uh, would make it difficult for them to win back their clients once their suspension was lifted, if it went? Or, or is it simply a matter of, you know, they, they open shop again and, and, and the customers will come back? Well, on the corporate side, they did all the good things. They followed the guidebook, in other words. Um, but the clients will now, I mean, their clients will now consider the regulatory risk, risks mm. and the political risks, etc. Um, so to your question, they'll they'll see how the government and how the regulators will 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 deal with them. Deal with them. Mm. Yes. Uh, but that's not un they're not likely to be too hostile to avoid these, are they? Not unlike the Sulpicio time, because the Sulpicio time it's like you you it's, they essentially gave the government the license to pick a lot on on Sulpicio because uh, they were. Very sympathetic to the yeah. to the ones who lost um, their loved ones. So in this case, political connections aside, uh, this company has been run fairly professionally. The Voices Group has a good reputation, mm -hmm. and they've been doing all the right things. And so it shouldn't be too difficult for them to weather this, um, despite all of the things that have happened. Yes. Yeah, so the next things that we'll be will be um, watching um, will be how long the suspension will be. What was the cause of uh, of the of the accident, uh, was it nature? Was it because of nature, acts of mm. God, or uh, security reasons? Or again, it bring, brings back the memories of 2004 when a terrorist was able to yeah. get through their line. So I guess people will be watching in the meantime. Uh, Lala Romano, thanks again for coming tonight. It was good to see you, and uh, yeah. I hope to see you more often on the program. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. All right, moving on now. The Banco Central says, where are we? Are we here? Okay. The Banco Central says it expects a significant growth in consumer lending in the fourth quarter. Deputy Governor Nestor...